All right, welcome. I want to give this a go. I do have a couple of mods. This is the No More Shaking dreaded mission. The game is bugged. There are some things that don't work properly, but I wanted to show you what vehicles I was using. Uh, the MK38 Puma is a mod, and you're able to put the seismic you know, equipment on it there so that we can actually complete the mission. That's a Lodestar mod, and that's a uh, F-350 pickup truck. So let's just get into it. Let me turn down the sound from my speakers. I don't need those on. I've got plenty of gas. To hopefully make it through. Now, I did load up on some of these here. I don't know why it says cannot be used from the inventory. I guess it's because I'm not upside down. I ended up getting cocky and I got there within like just a few minutes. I zipped on down and then I ended up, you know, upside down and I was unable to do anything and I was like right at the end. Pretty, pretty stupid if you ask me. Because this is a very dreadful mission. This is not a guide. That's why the title says attempting. No more shaking. I don't want to give people this false sense of hope. Plus, don't forget, even if this was a guide, you'd have to have the exact same truck I have, the same upgrades, done to the truck. You definitely don't want to go to the left there or you'll get pinched. I mean, I've made it through before with stock tires, but this basic truck that you get with the stock tires is absolute trash. An upgraded truck. Some better tires makes the game that much easier. And if you haven't played with mods and you, you've made it here, then you should see how much easier it is by just how fast I'm plowing through everything. For me, what makes this game a lot of fun is when you remove the money thing. You get all the upgrades because you still got to do the job. I mean, I don't know if I can show you my money. I don't think it shows me my money. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, I went a little too hard. For some odd reason, I'm like, did I go left? Did I go right the last time? Really can't wait till they fix those textures. Flicking on and off. From low res to rendered in. Yeah, for this, to be honest, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drive right up. Holy macaroni. You see what happens when you've got... When you've got the good shit? Yeah, this is as good place as any. I put that. What's funny is the thing that you actually put down sometimes gets in the way. 
I've had trucks get stuck on that nub. It's absolutely insane. I'm like that kind of defe defeated the purpose of why I had it to begin with. I've said this a million times. Well, maybe 123 times. I still definitely enjoy SnowRunner much more, but this is the new shiny candy. Naturally, I'm going to want to taste. That's really what this comes down to. It'll be interesting to see its evolvement over time. Now, they say if you winch another vehicle and you hold the button down, because if you have a vehicle winched, right? Triangle is to pull, square is to push. Supposedly, you'll get the prompt to travel to Waweep Bay. But we're not uh, doing that. So six minutes to cross. Don't even ask me how long it took. with normal vehicles and shit. You don't, you don't want to know. Don't even ask. An hour and ten minutes. Uh, boy. Yeah, so we need to go there. However, we need to do a hard left. Well, we don't need to. I need to. There, there might be a better way. I'm just not willing to try the theory. This seems like a safe bet to me. So just driving around, scouting. Doing literally just that, the expeditions. It is fun. Don't get me wrong, it is a really nice change of base from something like SnowRunner. However, what was I going to say? However, once you're done exploring and fixing the map and repairing bridges and all that sort of stuff, you can then just grab any vehicle. Isn't that the beauty of SnowRunner? And then just grab any vehicle, you have no objectives left, and it's just about cruising around. I mean, I do that in Forza Horizon 5. I don't even do the races anymore, because I beat the game. I've got all the money, all the cars I want, I just jump in a random car and just cruise around. With no real um, objective in mind. The objective is just the driving. Just like this, I'd love to grab this truck without the seismic equipment on, and just cruise around. Be like, hmm, let me see if I can get up here. And that's literally it. The thing I enjoy more about SnowRunner, aside from the obvious for many people, will be that there's roads. But there's still plenty of off-roads. Of off-roading locations, right? But it's nice to have at least, like, one dedicated path, sort of. This one is like, eh, there's not really any roads. got to make it to the top of the mountain. Whoops. Yeah, we're going to leave the tire pressure alone for now. Yeah, we got to get right at the top. Holy Waka Moly. You can tell I've done this a few times because I really don't have to look at the map. I've only done it a few times, but enough to be like, yeah, yeah, I, I mainly remember this. There's a road off to the left, but it's busted. Yeah, 
I probably shouldn't drive right through tree. Oh, that happened to me the last time. And then I tipped over. And then that was it. But now I got me some things. Yeah, this truck. Oh, shit. And, and I'm laughing for a few reasons. First of all, I got a really nice winch. That's what she said. So I can just... I can do this. Or I can just stop messing around and be like, hmm. Let's do... this. Ouch! Really? I feel like that was a little unfair. Yeah, I was gonna say... We'll pretend like that never even happened. I could have been more careful, but honestly, I'm just trying to zip through this. I kind of had... Sort of a timer in mind. I wanted to do this in about 12 minutes, but I've already ruined it. I don't know why 12. It just seemed like a semi-possible number. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. It's that, don't worry, I wasn't I wasn't gonna keep singing. I know some people were probably like, oh my god, this is this is where it starts. And it's like, nope. So you winch on that tree. Then obviously you whip out your winch. Nobody's looking, so it's safe. Okay? Totally safe. Well, I wouldn't say oh. Who's your daddy, bitch? Sorry. I don't think you understand. Get up there. Get it up. How difficult of a time I had with this goddamn mission. Like, I just don't think. Okay, okay, calm down. I don't think people understand. that I have been I'm just getting aggravated because I, I just want this shit done. We're done. 13 minutes, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. I've just been so frustrated. Again, it's all about having the right tools and all that stuff. The right truck, this, that, and the other thing. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you want. If not, whatever. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.